So as many of you know, billionaire Mike Bloomberg is running for president. And, you know, the first thing that he's clearly trying to do is convince all of us peasants that he is just like us and um, he's human. Except the problem is that he's not being very convincing at uh, showing us that he's human because he's making decisions that just show how out of touch he is. And like, you're a billionaire, you're going to be out of touch, but Tom Steyer is a billionaire. Even he is less out of touch than Mike Bloomberg. And I don't like Tom Steyer, but I mean, when you compare the two, it's clear that one of them is, uh, you know, more human and the other is possibly an android. Like we're, we're talking like 50-50 chance that he is straight up just an android. Um, so... The campaign you'd think would help, would try to make him more personable. You know, I'm sure that when Elizabeth Warren launched her campaign, when she did that Instagram live stream where she got a beer all weirdly and awkwardly, that was what her campaign staff tried to do. But Mike Bloomberg's team just seems to be like making him lean in to the fact that he is possibly a robot. And uh, one of the most, you know... The biggest example that shows that he may be a robot and is definitely not a normal person is when Team Bloomberg tweeted out this video with zero context. Where's my ice cream? Ah, thank you. Mmm, big gay ice cream is the best. Anybody? Um, so my first reaction to that was, why is the ice cream gay? Like, is he trying to be, like, cool and, like, say, oh, this this ice cream is so gay, which wouldn't necessarily mean that it's it's cool. That would mean that it's it's gay if you thought that gay men stupid, if we're going back to the 2000s with the lingo there. Um, so I had no idea what the fuck he was talking about. And second of all, like, this is the guy who tried to ban Big Gulps. So why is he eating ice cream? Assuming it's filled with sugar, wouldn't he want to ban it and not try to eat it? Now... One of my Twitter followers said that apparently Big Gay Ice Cream is an ice cream shop in New York. Okay, well, how are we supposed to know that? Like, I live in Oregon. I don't know what the fuck Big Gay Ice Cream is. How am I supposed to know that that's the name of an ice cream shop when you just tweet out a 10-second video of him saying, Mmm, I love Big Gay Ice Cream. What? I mean, that's like me just saying, Hey, I love Muchos. People would say, what the fuck is that? They wouldn't know that that is a delicious Mexican restaurant in Beaverton, Oregon. Nobody would know that. Hence why you need to supply people with context. Um, so, I mean, if you're, if you're trying to prove to us that you're not a robot, you're not helping. Now, the biggest evidence that Bloomberg is not a human being and that he is straight up just robot, reptilian, I don't know, is this interaction that he, that he had with a dog... <laughs> I've watched this video like 25 times. So he um, encountered a dog. And <laughs> rather than like scratching its head or something or scratching its ear, he grabbed the dog's fucking face and shook it as if it were a hand. I'm not kidding. Take a look. I've, I've seen this video <laughs> like 30 times and wow, who does that? Who does that? And it took me forever to realize that he was like trying to emulate a handshake, albeit with a dog. But if you've ever come into contact with dogs before, you know that one might be able to shake hands. Just, you know, do, do this. And then maybe the dog will put its paw in your hand. But what does he do? He walks up, grabs the dog's fucking face, and shakes it like a fucking weirdo. Like, serial killers do this. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? And the look on the dog's face is just like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like the dog didn't know what to do <laughs> so the dog tried to play it off and just like yawn <laughs> American politics is so stupid <laughs> now 
the internet reacted to this. I'm crying. But, um... And I've seen this so many times, but it's still funny. The internet reacted and, you know, had the same response that I had. Like, why are you grabbing the dog's face, you fucking weirdo? So he responded by releasing an ad to totally prove that he just, he loves dogs. Mike Bloomberg is the man to lead us. He will create more jobs. Mike's not afraid of the NRA, not one bit. Trust me, Mike will get it done, yeah. <laughs> Get it yes. done, yes. He does not tweet. Oh. I like Mike. I like Mike. I lick Mike. I'm Mike Bloomberg's dog. I approve this message. I'm Mike Bloomberg and I approve this message. Stop. Stop. Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> oh my god. I almost want him on the debate stage, even though I'm against billionaires like buying their way onto the debate stage, I almost want him on the debate stage just to like observe his behavior because this is not a normal human being. Like as much as he's trying to personalize his campaign and make it seem like he's down, you know, uh, down with the peasants and he's just like one of us. No, not buying it. I mean, look at these pictures. You can see him here. You know, he's just clearly miserable with this woman who I'm assuming is a supporter, but he doesn't look very happy to be in her company. Um, you have him, I guess, almost high-fiving this girl, but not wanting to make direct skin contact with a peasant because I'm assuming he thinks that, you know, we have germs. Although, you know, while wearing gloves, he is less likely to catch diseases from peasants. So, you know... He is willing to shake their hands in this instance, although I'm assuming he is going to throw away that glove afterwards or burn it. And, you know, as a body language expert myself, right here, he's crossing his arms to signal that, you know, he's closing himself off and he doesn't want that peasant to go any closer to him. That distance is fine, but it's, you know, any closer and you're going to be making Mike Bloomberg feel uncomfortable. And here you have him enjoying a game like all the peasants do. And, you know, in this picture, you can see he's really enjoying this game. <laughs> Look, the point of democracy is representation of the people. Michael Bloomberg is not a person. This is a robot. And he, he doesn't even know how to interact with the dog. Like, normal humans just instinctively want to scratch a dog's ear or pet it. He grabbed its face, and seeing him utterly miserable talking to people, it, I just, I don't understand. Like, if you are a billionaire, and you have so much money, more so than you'd ever be able to spend, even if you were lucky enough to live to be 10,000 years old, why not just retire? Why not just retire to one of your, I'm assuming, like, 30 mansions? Retire. Buy an island. Live there. I just, it makes no sense to me why, if you're that wealthy, you would try to do something like this. Like, I don't think that Donald Trump wanted to actually become president. I think he was using his 2016 campaign as a stepping stone for, like, some sort of a network. But now he is clearly miserable. He hates his job, just likes the campaign part. So, I mean, why would you want to do that as well? You're rich. Just, just go away. I mean, you're not offering voters anything. You don't support Medicare for all. I don't know how you'd be different than Donald Trump. I mean, what, maybe we get more centrist Supreme Court justices, that's it? I, I just, it makes no sense to me why billionaires feel so hellbent on influencing American politics when no matter what the U.S. government does, it's not going to change their lives at all. So I'm done talking about Mike Bloomberg. Uh, this is not a human being. This is quite possibly um, the most obvious android, not fooling anyone. And I can't get over the dog video. I still can't get over it. Beta male, not a beta male.